Here. Board Member Higley? Here. Board Member Malloy? Here. For, uh, board Member Storms? Here. Supervisor Stanley? You know what the special notice, meeting notice? Uh, we just had the uh, approval of previous town board minutes first. Right. Uh, we made a motion to approve the uh, previous town board meeting minutes of December. I'll make a motion to approve those minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, you want to read the uh, statement for the meeting? Please? Yeah. Please take notice the town candidate for town board will hold a special town board meeting, reorganization meeting on Monday, January 6, 2014 at 6 p.m. The purpose of this meeting is to reorganize in 2014 and make yearly appointments for the ensuing year. Town board holds a meeting at town hall 7209, Route 28, in Bacon, New York. <coughs> Okay, the supervisor's uh, financial report for December 2013. Um, Ulster County sales tax is $32,882.99. Uh, Ulster County mortgage tax is $29,056.31. Phoenicia Water District interest was $3.16. Ambulance fees was $4,707.60. Uh, Phoenicia library rent was $300. Highway chips. $157,694.77. Uh, New York State Electric and Gas reimbursement was $18,036.73. Uh, town clerk fees was $59.25. Police fees, $15.50. Building permit fees, $722.50. Planning fees, $303.76. Zoning fees, $425. Dog licenses, $116. Mariner Tower, $1,547.27. Phoenicia Water Rents, $1,978.59. Highway Interest, $88.80. Reimbursement to Highway, $8.36. Millen Steel, $1,070.36. Uh, reimbursement for postage was $97.76. Uh, recycling reimbursement was $64.53. Health reimbursement was $248.17. Uh, smart growth was $4,080. Marshall and Sterling was $160. The total was $253,667.31. Any communications? Town board members have any communications? Any highlights? Any uh, words you want to pass for the town? Not really many. Just the uh, Shantaken uh, Primitive Biathlon is going on up in uh, the Upper Asopus Fishing Game Club on uh, the Martin Luther King weekend. That's Sunday, uh, August. I mean, it's hard to August. January 19th. Uh, <laughs> You'd probably rather be August, but anyway, January 19th, uh, even if you don't participate, it's a nice day to come up and uh, take in some air and get some, uh, get some recreation. Joyce? Yeah. All town information, just reminding everybody, we do have a website. It's www.shandaken.us. And we use our town Facebook page for near emergencies and up-to-the-minute announcements, as well as town happenings. If you don't have a computer, Stop by the town clerk's office for our Shandaken information packet, which includes emergency information, phone numbers, and other info you may need to know. And you can also call us, and we'll drop one in the mail to you. Uh, call us 688-5004. And just to remind everybody, we mailed out all the tax bills this past Thursday. If you have a mortgage, you will not get a bill in the mail. Your bank will get it directly. And that's it. Committee reports. Uh, ambulance. Happy New Year's, Board. Welcome, uh, Councilman Malloy. Councilman Thank you, Storms. Thank you. Nice to have you guys. Then nice to have you back. Welcome on board. Okay, this is uh, Administrator Mueller Lilly's report. He had to. Uh, had to work this evening. So let's just start out with maybe it's cold outside. There it was, it's getting colder again. Make sure you protect yourself and your loved ones from uh, bitter cold conditions out there as we're having 
record-breaking lows <coughs> for dress in layers and pay particular attention to the way you are dressed, especially if you're doing something insane like hiking in the outdoors or something more tame yet sometimes equally as challenging like shoveling after snowstorm. Normal body temperature average is 98.6, with hypothermia core temperature drops below 95. During exposure to cold temperatures, 90% of your heat loss escapes through your skin. The rest you exhale from your lungs, so bundle up can make a huge difference. Also be aware that you don't necessarily need to be outside to experience symptoms. An adult in a 60 degree house after a power outage can develop mild hypothermia overnight. Infants and babies sleeping in cold bedrooms are also at risk of risk for the same thing. Rich says he's gonna hold off on delivering our year-end report until the next meeting as we're awaiting final notices and statistics from Ulster County Island One. So uh, stay, stay tuned for a stack of information there. Uh, anyway, we had total calls received were 41, mutual aid given zero, mutual aid received zero. Uh, respectfully yours, Richard Lilly, Chief Ambulance Technician and Administrator, Shandy Okay, any questions at all? Uh, down Dennis, I think your mileage report, you gave me a, a drug recall product. I could have. You get that much more. Thanks, The chief, uh, unfortunately, is sick as a door, so he went home. So I'm going to get the report today. Hi, Frank. Hi. Nice to see you. Hi, it's been nice to see you back on the board. Thank you, George. Thank you for the email. It's fine. Uh, hey, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that, too. All right, I'm going to start off with the December report, and then I'm going to end up with the uh, year-end totals. Oh, let's see. We had, um, in December, we had one accident with a hit and run. We had three accidents with animals, two personal injury auto accidents. That accident, ACC slash PIA, A, is a personal injury auto accident. Accident PDAA, which is a property damage auto accident, we got a 15. Um, four unfounded AIDs. Now, unfounded means that at the time of the call, we don't know if it's an actual burglary or not. So we have to respond and find out. Um, the founded ones, we already know that the person has already called in and advised the uh, alarm company that uh, they're there on scene. So we still respond just to make sure that the house is secure. Uh, eight domestics. Uh, we assisted the fire department with five structure fires. Now, the structure fires, they're listed as structure fires. There may not be an actual fire there, but we do account as that as a structure fire because that was the way the call came in. Uh, one landlord tenant dispute, three larcenies, misdemeanor, one felony larceny, four lockouts. Uh, we assisted the ambulance on 16 medicals. We had one uh, mental health. Call, two open doors, uh, five requests for patrols, five uh, correction, nine requests for assistance, 13 security checks, a lot of suspicious activity, three, one suspicious noise, one suspicious person, and two suspicious vehicles. Um, we had three traffic hazards. One of those was where someone was coming home or going home or going up the mountain and threw three bags of garbage including glass bottles and wine bottles and all those types of crap. Excuse my French, but the C word there, crap. Onto the ground on Route 28 on a high note. So I had to remove that from the roadway, which was a stinky mess. Um, three abandoned 911 calls, and we handled two school bus details for a total of calls of 147 for December. We had four arrests with four charges, 12 uniform traffic tickets, which are uh, speeding tickets, and and four parking tickets. Uh, unfortunately, DMV did not provide me with any information on how many uh, cases were cleared at court, so I don't have that information to share with you. Hey, George. Yes, sir. On 151, community oriented political project? It's, no, it's community oriented police project. Okay. They're, they're basically, it's a call that, um, where we assist the, the community in any way that we can. Okay. Um, we just don't. I mean, like a public effort. Yeah, it's a public. Okay, so it's a thing. Uh, we had 23 new investigations, 12 closed investigations, seven open investigations. Uh, we had four arrests, so four closed investigations with arrests, 
and we patrolled the total of 8,160 miles. Any questions on December from the board? Depends if the person got permission from the homeowner or the owner of the bin. Okay. Um, you could always give us a call, or the person anyone could call us, and we could go and work through the garbage and see if we can find any names. Most of the times, people uh, remove their magazines and subscriptions and mail. You know. So it's, it's, I mean, at least it's not on the street. Right. And do we have any public uh, dump areas for garbage? For no. people who are like renting houses for a week? No, it's, it's basically carry and carry out. Carry it's the same out. thing for the BEC. We tried that a long time ago. Yeah. And it lasted about a week. <laughs> the ones in Phoenicia lasted actually a little bit longer. And they just got piled up with, with, uh, with private trash. And uh, back in that day, it was my business to find out who was doing it. And yeah. we found them and dealt with it. Right, right. The state tried to do it down. We uh, <coughs> down here. It had a ball field there for a while too. Right? They just find diapers and garbage, everything all piled up. Okay, so we're going to move on to no more questions on December? No. No? Rick? No? You have any questions, Rick? No. <laughs> just you want to get home, huh? Okay. <laughs> the year end total is 2013. Uh, very quickly, um, we'll just go over the accidents real quick. Seven hit and runs, 23 accidents with animals. Somehow we got a navigation accident in there. I'd have to go back and check and see why that is. Uh, personal injury auto accidents were 24. Property damage auto accidents were 80. Uh, unknown personal injury auto accidents. That's where we go to a call, we don't know what it is, and it was never updated by the officer. So we're gonna work on that to make sure that we can update those. Um, two accidents with ATVs. We uh, verified 11 sex offender addresses throughout the year. Uh, we had 73 animal complaints, six complaints of animal cruelty, um, 26 uh, automatic intrusion device alarms, which were founded, unfounded, were 45. Five bad check complaints, 26 burgs, burglaries, three burglaries of progresses, in progresses, in progress 56 check to welfare, nine civil disputes, uh, 21 counts of uh, criminal mischief, 37 disabled vehicles, 18 disorderly conducts, 51 domestics, 6 uh, complaints of fireworks, 17 found properties, 37 harassments, 4 intoxicated drivers, 4 intoxicated persons, 4 juvenile incidents which were non-criminal, 38 larcenies, misdemeanor, 12 felony larcenies, 9 local law violations, we uh, assisted 60 times and drivers getting into locked out cars. We had one lost person. We assisted the ambulance 151 times on medicals. We had 27 noise complaints, 22 neighbor disputes, and two narcotic investigations. 103 uh, request patrols, 86 requests for assistance, 412 security checks, 15 shots fired complaints, 22 suspicious activity, Four suspicious noise, 13 suspicious persons, 29 suspicious vehicles, 103 vehicle complaints. We had three water emergencies, 57 total abandoned 911 calls. Total calls handled was 2,077. We wrote 286 uniform traffic tickets, 19 parking violations. Total of 35 violations, 46 misdemeanors, and seven felonies with a total arrest of 80. Total charges charged were 139. The New York State DMV cleared at court. That's only a six month figure. Six months out of the year, I never received the, the information from New York State DMV. So out of six months out of a 12 month period, 185 cases were cleared and uh, we brought in $14,722. Total miles patrolled was 91,336. 261 total investigations, 107 were closed, 
69 are presently open, 83 are closed with arrests, and one closed investigation where a warrant was advised. There is a discrepancy with um, the vehicle report odometers on the Ford uh, 844 PPV. Um, we did replace 84 in April with a new uh, automobile. So the numbers are going to be a little skewed when you look at that. If you look back at January, you'll see that uh, January of 2013, the Ford PPV, I believe, had a mileage of, uh, off the top of my head, somewhere in the area of 80,000. So that's where you'll find the discrepancy. Any questions on the year end of I've got a, about one or two of you said that the address of verification sex offenders with this weapon, is that available to the public? The information is available to the public. They have to go online to New York State GCGS and uh, do the sex verification for the area. You could do that. Okay. It's not available to the police department? No, no, we'd be, that would be violating too many laws. Okay. do that. Um, they can find it to the state. Maybe next month if you come, could you, um, could you list what they have to do to find those out? Sure. Give them a, you know, so we can put something down so the people who are Absolutely. may be interested in that. Absolutely. If you go right onto the website, you go right up to the website, yeah. and the map comes up, and it points them where they are. I'll, I'll get the, I'll get the, uh, the website for you, and I'll okay. make sure I have that available. Um, because you have to sign into that, right? I mean, isn't there like, like a lot to do this? You have to, yeah, you have to sign in saying that you're not going to use this word, like, go there and cook the guy or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not so cut and dry just to hit it. Yeah, correct. Um, the other one I got was total monies collected from the fines. Does that go to the town or is that? That is the total amount that is collected by New York, by the, by the court. Now, however the court breaks that money down, you'd have to ask the court. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think it's, $15, I think, don't, don't quote me on this, I believe it's $15 for every summons goes immediately to the town. The rest of it, the state surcharge, the fine, everything else, goes to Baldwin. Okay, so we took to like the uniform traffic ticket, it's times 15, that's what we got back from there? Yeah. Okay. Um, on a minimum. If the, if the, if yeah, the parking ticket, if it was a parking ticket, right, if it was re reduced prior to a trial or reduced after trial, um, to a parking violation, then all that money for the parking violation will come back. Right. Um, the other question I got is on the uh, vehicle uh, odometer part. It says 83 Chevy Impala. Can you give us the uh, uh, year in uh, the car? Uh, this one's like a, like, a 90, like a 2012. 83 is what I can go out and look at the, the, uh, the Chevy that I'm driving right now. I believe it's a uh, 2011. I believe. Trailblazer. <coughs> the Trailblazer is the one that you guys purchased for the chief. Um, I think that's an 07 or an 06. Um, okay. Maybe next next month also for the list of the cars. And uh, okay. the question I had. Yeah. I have that down in York staff, Okay. We have more than um, Remember last year talking about the list of vests and the Mike yourself said they're. Are they um, up to date? Or are they? No. They're not. They're expired. They're expired. Um, how how much expired are they? Uh, mine expired. The one that I'm wearing right now expired I believe, in 2010. What What do you mean? Did it expire? They have an expiration date, like food. Your vest? Yeah. yeah. Not that we're going to eat the vest. No, but, <laughs> but, uh, might be that well in some places. Due to body sweat and body heat. It, Will deteriorate over time. Right. Uh, I don't wear mine next to my my body. I wear it on the outside, yeah. so it actually has a little bit better retention. We, we did get five thousand dollars from um, Urgent. Yeah. Was it this past year? Um, I'm, I'm not up to date on how much the best cost or how many we have to purchase. We, we, would, um, we would have to purchase four uh, four for the full timers, and they're anywhere mm -hmm. between eight hundred and thirteen hundred dollars, depending on what. Level. But that's just for the full timers. That is correct. Let's see other officers have this and other jobs. Okay. Um, so like, you know, five thousand dollars we have in pain conversion, and that would be something that could be bought with that money in my that, right? That's correct. Okay. We could also take our old vests and recycle them back into the system, and then police departments in other locales within the United States would because they don't have any money at all, at all, we could recycle them and let the officer use. When did you get those 
2005. So they're good for about five years. Yeah. But you don't get anything back like if you trade, get it to a town again. No, it's you just get it to a town. Correct. Or we could just hold on to it. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, Phoenicia Water. Don't be one window. Never, <laughs> never ask. Hey, Tim, how are you? Welcome, Jay. How are you? I'm doing all right. So the next meeting is next week on the 15th, 6.30 at the water plant. Um, the thing I'm waiting for now is from Sue to get the ability for me to import into Excel the spreadsheet that we need to do our uh, our income survey and to well I won't do the income survey but um, Candace will be doing that but we need to make it clear to her what exactly we have in the way of uh, users in the system you know because like in my building there's four users on one meter and there are other situations like that so we need to straighten that out and then we can give it to her but it needs to be on an Excel sheet so anything we can do to get that going because she's been busy with the year end, but I think she's going to be able to do it now within the next couple of days. So. It's new software. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's it's well. not, she knows how to do it now. No, but it's on the new software for the building, yeah. for the water system she's itself. Bringing it to work now. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, there's issues with how much time she could spend. Yeah. You know. So, just so that we get it, that's all. That's it. Questions? Thanks. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Want to water? The report? Uh, the museum. I uh, know Jack Jordan was the uh, liaison there, but uh, so there's probably no, no uh, report from there. Recreation? Nothing on recreation? Any public comments on the resolutions? Yes. Um, I gotta apologize before we start, Kathy. I may have a knowledge on it, I may not. I understand. I right. appreciate your filling in on short notice. Um, uh, it's resolution number 4714. Uh, this is the social service officer, and um, there's a change both in terms of the person serving or uh, being put forward to serve as the social service officer and a decrease in the amount of the annual salary. Um, I think from five thousand, it's now one thousand. Five nine sixty nine. It was five nine sixty nine. Five nine sixty nine. So almost six thousand. So I wonder if you know any of the history here, and if this was a change in the amount of the salary that then uh, led to a change in the personnel. I'm, uh, I asked particularly because I, I could appreciate trying to save the money for the town. Um, but I'm a little concerned to have a police officer in, this, in the role of a social service officer. There may be people in need of social services who maybe don't feel comfortable reaching out to a police officer for what they need. So I, I just flag it. Maybe this is something that is temporary or maybe there's a history that uh, you could help us understand. Um, real, I don't have that much knowledge on it. I know Rob is trying to uh, look at that to save money. Um, it was was five thousand dollars in the thirteen budget, I think, uh, around that. Where he was looking there, and we had a conversation with Eve Smith, I believe, um, and the, the gist of that I'm not, you know, real privy to. But uh, he initially stated that he might do it as a supervisor, um, and then um, I guess a decision was made to uh, have Jim McGrath do it uh, because of uh, finances or availability uh, with a car or calls, he's more available, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess you'd have to talk to Rob on that to get the gist on it. Well, I don't have a problem for tonight, and maybe this is a solution that um, works best for the town, but I would ask the board to look into it just in, in the, with the idea that maybe um, having somebody that everybody in town could feel comfortable going to, no matter what their circumstances, maybe um, police officer is, is not the best choice there. Well, I understand that it shouldn't have any bearing, but the, sometimes somebody who's down and out may feel like they did something 
two months ago that somebody remembers and they don't feel comfortable. I, I just, social service officer, uh, you know, and it doesn't have anything to do with the individual that you would name here. I just think that it might be good for that person not to have any other role that the person might confuse when they're in a position of needing help. I would relate that on to uh, the supervisor because he's one of the make these appointments and maybe financial. And maybe Question, if anything, Rob talked to you about No, I didn't have any uh, conversation with him concerning it. I know, uh, I remember E. Smith, when there was a drop in the, uh, in the pay, we were talking about that. Uh, right. She had some concerns over that, but uh, no. Well, I know it's the same too, Kathy, that it, it, sometimes if somebody, if they've been to the police, especially if they've had a past, say, and they, you know, now you have that policeman or you have a policeman that knows your history, knows your past, again, not saying good or bad, they might be very nervous about your like, coming forward or they might even they might even backfire. You might even feel that, you know, you asked for something, they didn't get it. Well he doesn't like me because he was a policeman and knew I did. Yeah, so that's a, that's a concern. Yeah. Okay, okay. On the flip side of that though, social services fraud cost the taxpayers billions of dollars in year. Right. And that is a big issue. That's a big it's issue. Area, area and it's the, everywhere. Right. Right. You know, so that's the flip side. Oh no, that's true that. Actually, an ambulance person might be a good social service uh, appointee. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We do. We do. We do. Uh, there are some instances that we have to report a mandate. Uh, you know, and it's not uncommon for us to set people on, set people, you know, I mean, so to speak, you know, just welfare check, you know, what they need, fuel, food, whatever it is, health care, you know, it's, it's I think it's but as far as as far as you know, the police department, it's not a bad thing. Uh, it may curb some of the. Uh, uh